What is the Acer Swift One? The Acer Swift One is the cheapest laptop in the company's Swift lineup. This means it lacks some of the performance and extra features of its more expensive siblings but retains the essentials, an all-metal body and a full HD screen. In essence, it's the shell of a premium laptop but with the heart of an entry-level model, with a low price to match. There are multiple versions of the Swift One available, with the older model with a lower spec chassis currently the one that's most widely sold. The model on review here is part of the newer range, called the SF11331. It doesn't have a UK seller, but we're informed it'll be priced from £340 when it does. Key Features Review Price £350 1.1 to 2.5 GHz Intel Pentaman 4200 13.3 inch Full HD Display 4 GB DDR4 Memory 120 GB Flash Storage Intel HD 505 Graphics Acer Swift 1, Design and Features There are two key reasons you'll want to get this laptop over even cheaper ones, such as Acer's own Spin 1, and the first of these is design. With its all-metal exterior and 18mm thickness, at a glance this machine could easily pass for one costing three times as much. All this, and Acer has managed to make this a very light laptop as well, it weighs just 1.3 kg. You don't miss out on much in the way of features, either. Down the sides there's plenty of connectivity, with an HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB Type-C port and a headphone jack on the right and a USB 2.0 and an SD card reader on the left. Above the screen you also get a webcam and internally you get up to date 2 times 2 800 2.11 acres Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. For wired networking you'll have to use a USB adapter. Acer Swift 1 keyboard and trackpad. The keyboard is a good piece of kit. It has a proper UK layout, with a large enter key and a pound symbol, and the keys are nicely spaced out. Perhaps the only thing missing is any form of backlighting. Likewise, the trackpad is comfortably up to the job. It's large, has a nice smooth gliding metal surface and the click action is light but defined. It's also responsive and perfectly set up right out the box. Acer Swift 1, Screen The second big attractive feature of this laptop, after rich design, is its screen. It uses an IPS type LCD panel, so has great viewing angles and surprisingly good overall image quality to boot. Its color temperature is a bit too high, at 70-75K, giving the image a slightly cold, blue tinge but it's very subtle. Meanwhile a contrast ratio of 1261 to 1 is excellent, showing that this display can muster up deep inky blacks while also showing bright colors, resulting in a deep, rich looking image. Acer Swift 3, Webcam and Audio 720p resolution webcam sits in the bezel above the screen and it delivers perfectly acceptable image quality for basic video calling. With a frame rate of 30 fps and relatively low resolution you get a somewhat choppy, grainy image but it's enough to get by. Similarly, you get a couple of speakers that fire down from the underside of the laptop and they do a reasonable job. There's enough volume and clarity that you can enjoy the latest film trailers or Skype without needing a headset but inevitably the lack of bass means that you'll want separate speakers or headphones for watching a movie or listening to music. Acer Swift 1, Performance So far, so good for the Acer Swift 1 but there's a fly in the ointment. While everything externally on this laptop is great or at least perfectly good enough, its performance is not quite up to scratch. It uses an Intel Pentium N4200, which is a quad-core chip so it's technically quite capable when it comes to multitasking. However, it runs at a base clock speed of just 1.1 GHz, which is astonishingly slow. Luckily, it perks up to 2.5 GHz in short bursts of activity so it doesn't actually feel as slow as it might. Acer Swift 1, Battery Life Acer claims this laptop will last 10 hours on one battery charge but this didn't tally with my testing. In our standardized power mark test it lasted 6 hours and 28 minutes, well short of its target. 
Its clear acer's estimates are with the brightness set at or near to its minimum, which is just about unusable in most cases. Trusted tests at 150 nits, which was 60% on the laptop's brightness scale, 